Alert, CNN hit with devastating blow, it's panic time. CNN has struggled this year in the face of a number of fake news allegations and criticisms for its apparent biases. According to Deadline, this month's viewership numbers reveal just how bad things are at the news network. CNN lost 52% of its viewers with a 54% hit specifically to its key age demographic. Interestingly, the numbers reveal that the most watched cable news program for October was Hannity on Fox News Channel. Hannity had recently been moved to 9 p.m. to compete with Rachel Meadows' show on MSNBC. Hannity proved the winner with a total viewership of 3.2 million. According to The Daily Caller, many attribute CNN's plummeting viewership and ratings to the Trump effect. A study done by YouGov found that CNN was behind both MSNBC and Fox News in regards to brand perception. Those polled were asked, if you've heard anything about the brand in the last two weeks, through advertising, news or word of mouth, was it positive or negative? The response was overwhelmingly negative. Ted Marzilli of YouGov says the drop in brand perception started in October of 2016, stating, CNN's negative acceleration point happened in mid-October 2016, around the time Anderson Cooper interviewed Melania Trump, notably discussing her husband's famous Access Hollywood tape. He says CNN was also attacked for appearing to blame President Trump for causing violence at the time, claiming, also at that time, a local North Carolina Republican office was firebombed, causing conservative-leaning media to pounce on CNN for suggesting Trump's rhetoric spurred the incident. CNN has also been targeted by President Trump repeatedly for biased criticisms and fake news propagation. In February, President Trump tweeted, Fake news media knowingly doesn't tell the truth. A great danger to our country. The failing at New York Times has become a joke. Likewise at CNN. Sad. One example of CNN engaging in fake news was in June when the network was forced to redact a controversial story for making false claims, according to the Washington Free Beacon. CNN formed an elite investigative unit in the beginning of 2017 to report on in-depth stories. One such story was released in June, stating that President Trump's ally, Anthony Scaramucci, had supposed deep ties to a Kremlin-based multi-billion dollar investment fund. The story was redacted, citing failure to meet editorial standards, and three members of the team were asked to resign. Another story in June claimed that former FBI Director James Comey would give a testimony before Congress that contradicted President Trump's claims that Comey informed him at least three times that he was not under investigation. It turns out the anonymous sources utilized were incorrect after Comey stated that he had, in fact, made those statements to the president. CNN was forced to correct the piece. Given their constant bearment of President Trump, propagation of the Russia collusion narrative, and a number of fake news events, it's no wonder CNN is struggling with viewership. It's also telling that Sean Hannity is the most watched cable news show, given his strong support for President Trump and conservative